Problem number 13. There is a ring outside of Saturn. In order to distinguish if the ring is actually a part of Saturn or is instead a part of the satellites of Saturn, we need to know the relation between the velocity v of each layer in the ring and the distance r of the layer to the center of Saturn. Which of the following statements is uh, correct? Solution. First, uh, let's investigate how is uh, velocity depends from radius in each case. Suppose that uh, we have this layer part of Saturn. In that case, we have uh, velocity equal omega r and uh, it's definitely proportional to radius r. In case of this uh, ring is a part of satellite system, uh, we have a centripetal acceleration, which is a v square over r, must be equal to acceleration due to gravity, which is a g mass of Saturn over radius square. It means that uh, v square back proportional to radius. And uh, let's uh, use this uh, to dependencies uh, for our answers. Answer A. If V proportional to R, then the layer is part of Saturn. That's true, because uh, V proportional to R. B. V square proportional to R. That's not true in any case. C. V back proportional to R. That's not true in any case. D. V square back proportional to R. This is true if uh, this is a satellite system, but uh, here we have part of Saturn, which is not correct. And E. V proportional to R square. This is not true in any case. So, correct answer is uh, A. Problem number 14. A cart of mass M moving at uh, 12 meters per second to the right collides elastically with a cart of mass 4 kg that is uh, originally at rest. After the collision, the cart of mass M moves uh, to the left with a velocity 6 uh, meters per second. Assuming an elastic collision in one dimension only, what is the velocity of the center of mass of the two cards before the collision? Solution. In the system of uh, center of mass, uh, we have collision uh, during which uh, two masses uh, collide with uh, velocities and uh, after collision they move with uh, opposite velocities with the same amount as before collision. So it means that uh, if uh, first cart move uh, initially at uh, 12 meters per second to the right and uh, after collision 6 uh, meters per second to the left, it means that in the system of uh, center of mass we have this relation that initial velocity of the first mass equal opposite uh, velocity for this mass after collision. And solution for this uh, equation is V center of mass equal 3 meters per second, which is answer B. Problem number 15. A uniform rod is uh, partially in water with uh, one end suspended, as shown in the figure. The density of the rod is uh, 5 over 9, that of water. At equilibrium, what portion of the rod is uh, above water? Solution. Let uh, L be the length of this rod. X is a uh, part of this rod above the water. S is a uh, cross-sectional area of this rod. Rho 0 is a uh, density of water. Rho equal 5 over 9 rho 0, that's the density of this rod. And we have to find what is x. 
part of the rod uh, above the water. Also, uh, let's uh, theta be the angle between uh, the direction of this uh, rod and the horizontal. Now uh, we can uh, write the uh, equilibrium equation for rotation of this rod around this uh, point of uh, attachment. Uh, we have a uh, force of gravity which is applied to the middle of this uh, rod and uh, we have buoyancy force from water which is applied to the middle of the uh, portion of the rod under the water and uh, let's uh, write the equation for this uh, torque's equilibrium for torques uh, we have uh, this equation L S rho which is uh, mass of uh, rod multiplied by G which is uh, force of gravity acting on this rod and we multiply it by L over 2 cosine theta which is a level arm for this rod uh, compared to this uh, point of rotation and that must be equalized by a uh, torque from buoyancy force and buoyancy force equal mass of this uh, water which is uh, dismissed by a uh, rod L minus X multiplied by S and the rho zero multiplied by G and we multiplied it by a uh, level R for this uh, buoyancy force compared to this point of rotation which is a uh, one half L plus X multiplied by cosine theta after all consolations uh, we have uh, this expression and uh, X equal 2 over 3L, which is answer D.